This video will provide information on your accommodation options and accommodation support on offer while studying at the University of Queensland. The Accommodation Services team can assist you with determining the best accommodation type for you, provide rental and tenancy advice including starting and ending a tenancy and provide referral assistance where necessary. As part of the exciting changes of going to university and moving away from home, possibly for the first time, it is important to find somewhere to live and call home. Firstly, you need to determine your budget and your needs. Are you prepared to cook and clean whilst you study? Have you rented a property before? Are you familiar with Brisbane and so on? Today we will discuss four accommodation options including the new on-campus student residences that are currently under construction, the residential colleges that are on campus, off-campus accommodation and private rentals including UQ rentals. The University of Queensland St Lucia campus has 10 residential colleges on site that are home to over 3,000 students and are all privately owned and operated. Six colleges accommodate male and female students, three colleges are female only and there is one male only college. The colleges are suited for all students including those who might be leaving home for the first time or wanting the convenience of walking to lectures and not having the pressures of cooking and cleaning whilst adjusting to uni life. College accommodation is varied from single standard rooms with shared bathroom facilities through to full en suited rooms and includes electricity, water and internet. Facilities can include on-site gym, music room, late meal rooms, communal kitchens, car parks, study rooms, sporting and cultural programs. To learn more about the college experience, scholarship opportunities, costs, inclusions, application process, you will need to contact the colleges directly. We're developing a new student residence in the heart of our St Lucia campus at the corners of Walcott, Rock and Hood Streets. The new UQ student residence will be both high quality and competitively priced to encourage the enrolment of a diverse cohort of students, including those from less advantaged backgrounds and from rural and remote areas. Integration with other services on campus will provide a seamless experience for students and will help them to adjust to university life. The development of an on-campus residence will help UQ attract, support and retain a diverse and inclusive mix of high achieving staff and students. It will be open from semester 1, 2022. UQ's off-campus accommodation providers have thousands of students from all over Australia and the world calling their accommodation home. If you prefer a bit more independence and cooking your own meals, all within the safety of a residential complex, then this might be an option for you. The providers are purpose-built, secured and conveniently located within a short distance of UQ, either by public transport or walking distance to the University's St Lucia and Hurston campuses. Locations include Albion, Orkinflower, Brisbane CBD, Kelvin Grove, Mount Cravat, South Brisbane, St Lucia, Turinga, Tawong and Woolloongabba. Room types include twin share apartments, multi-share apartments, for example, six single lockable rooms in a shared apartment and studio apartments. Some rooms will have shared bathrooms, others will have en-suites. Facilities can include on-site gym, cinemas or media room, music rooms, communal kitchens, pools and study rooms. As a resident, you can participate in many social engagement programs, including trivia nights, day trips and workshops. If you choose to live in a purpose-built student accommodation, you will have to enter into a lease. Leases will generally require four weeks rent as bond and two weeks rent in advance and can be six months or 12 months. Shorter term leases are available and you should contact the provider directly to discuss these options. The weekly rent will depend on the type of room selected and the length of stay. Included in your weekly rent is water, electricity and internet. Your lease will be called a rooming agreement. To learn more about off-campus accommodation and what they have available, you will need to contact them directly. 
If you wish to be totally independent, you might choose the private rental option. We recommend you source your accommodation through a real estate agent or use UQ's very own service, UQ Rentals. You will have many options to choose from, including houses, apartments, granny flats, shared or individual. Before renting a private residence, you should first assess your own individual requirements. What is your budget? Are the utilities included in the weekly rent? Are you wanting a furnished or unfurnished place? Proximity to campus, travel, expenses and so on. The rules for renting in Queensland are very strict and are governed by the Residential Tenancy Authority, better known as the RTA. Make certain you inspect the property first before signing a lease or handing over any money because Queensland doesn't have a cooling off period. Your lease will be a general lease or a rooming agreement lease. This will be at the property manager's discretion. These terms include general lease, rooming agreement, bond inspection report, bond lodgement and so on. A lease is a legally binding document. This information can be easily located on the RTA's webpage. Understanding your rights and obligations before entering the contract can ensure your monetary resources are protected. The RTA has a resource available called the Pocket Guide to Renting and is highly recommended to those who are new to the rental scene. Please visit our website to arrange a one-on-one -on -one appointment with an accommodation advisor for any questions you may have.